Hello and welcome. Today we are going to understand or trying to understand how pause estimation works in YOLO po uh, in YOLO pause, uh, which is uh, used in uh, YOLO V8 networks. So pause estimation in YOLO V8 will provide us with 17 key points in, of course, a human body. Now, uh, of course, we can use, uh, we can train YOLO V8 to predict the key points of uh, an animal or even a car. Uh, however, let's say for a human body, the pre-trained uh, YOLO V8 uh, model is going to predict 17 points, which is starting from nose, then left eye, right eye, and so on until the right ankle. You can see, of course, uh, starting from 0 to 16, but however, it's, you know, the Python uh, counting scheme, which is 17. So how it works, which is the most important question. How it works is basically we start with what we call a backbone. The backbone is going first to take an image of, a, well, three channel image, uh, red, green, and uh, blue and is going to pass it through a convolutional neural network-like network, which is going to compress this image, which is in this example is 640 by 640 to 10 by 10, which is, of course, we didn't reach to the, let's say, the linear uh, flattened uh, latent space, but it's quite small. 10 by 10 pixel is very small amount of pixels, basically. And what we are going to pass this information to a, a top down path which is similar to the side of the expansion in the um, in the in the unit which is we compress and then we expand the image so basically we we will have this uh, happening and as we go also as uh, similar to the unit, we will uh, concatenate the information coming from the backbone. After that, what we will do is an interesting turn, which is bottom-up path again. So the, the first one is the backbone. We will have a bottom-up path, and then we will do it again. And we keep adding the or concatenating the information coming from the top-down path and the bottom-up path. And basically, this is one of the uh, important feature of the uh, yolo pause now after that what we will do which is the second uh, also important features from uh, yolo pause is we will predict the results or like the box the bounding box and the key points using uh, m on multiple levels so what we will do here we will keep detecting the bounding box and the um, the, the the key points and then we will pick the best prediction. So this is basically the two things important in YOLO pause. The first one is multi-level prediction, and the second one is the PA net, which is the path aggregation net um, network that is uh, YOLO pause is using. Now we can see uh, the result is uh, is of course uh, first the multi-head uh, detection or the multi layer detection heads, um, well, it provides the capability to catch or to um, detect the, the bodies in different scales, different sizes. So we have this, which is relatively big compared with this uh, object. So because we have a multi-level uh, detection, we can do this kind of detection uh, quite um, reasonably um, accurate. On the other hand, because we are uh, well, choosing the best box and the key points after uh, after the multi-head detection is is happening is we can predict a bounding box and actually a key point that is outside even that bounding box as we can see in this example uh, this uh, ski people like we can see this uh, skiers uh, like the, the bounding box is here and this uh, leg or ankle um, a key point is is outside the bounding box so this is basically what uh, how the euro pose works 
one thing is um, the PNet uh, path aggregation net is for the top uh, for the first the bottom up path which is the usual path um, of course you, uh, what we can see is the bottom up uh, path is processing might involve identifying edges colors texture in an image this is what the convolution neural network do, does now on the other hand when we do the top down uh, uh, processing it 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 provides us a sense of the scenery so this uh, these uh, as the information propagates uh, on uh, like expand it it can provide us some sense of the the scenery itself and and we can get information aggregate information uh, from uh, from this scenery to a bigger scenery so of course uh, for example uh, maybe edges might have uh, will 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 provide uh, a better strength uh, for example or location of key points will be uh, will uh, will try to be highlighted uh, based on of course that what we will train which is the kernel that is going to be trained in every step in 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 this uh, in, the, in this network so the the yolo uh, pose actually network is uh, published in 2020 in 2022 sorry 2022 uh, well it's submitted on 2022 in um, in april i'm not sure about the publication date it just said here it's submitted but basically these um uh, the, the this network which is used by uh, well yolo v8 uh, we can see here is uh, this uh, YOLO pose enhancing YOLO for multi-person pose estimation using object key point similarity loss. It's quite interesting paper, and uh, most of the paper what he, he like they are explaining why uh, path aggregation and multi-level detection is beneficial and why uh, it uh, performs better than uh, previous uh, you know uh, networks. So you can go through this. Um, paper and uh, also it's it's quite interesting like um, in general as uh, for me as or for most of uh, users of the network is we need to understand the what makes it work well which is in in this case it's the uh, pnet and multi-level um, detection and this is what we uh, need to know and, and the general uh, uh, the general uh, mechanism of uh, this network of course underlying that that network there is a lot of math and why it works exactly better than other networks is also explained in this uh, paper in 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 detail so i would uh, recommend anybody to if they want to know more uh, just what makes uh, the yolo pose or how the yolo pose works into how or why um, the 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 very precise reasons why it's performing better we can i, I would really recommend looking into this uh, paper and i will link it in the i'll put it in the description uh, of this uh, video